think by law now, when it's July 4th weekend, I think Hollywood needs to release a big budget alien movie because for some odd reason it works and just that vibe of Independence Day, Aliens, July 4th, America, it's a perfect combo. The Tomorrow War stars Chris Pratt, Yvonne Strafisky, and J.K. Simmons, and is about a family man is drafted to fight in a future war where the fate of humanity relies on his ability to confront the past. Director of the Lego Batman movie, he directs this movie and he does a very good job with this movie, especially with the action scenes. Every action scene felt intense, exciting, and it felt like I should be watching it on the big screen because like I said, I was entertained at this entire movie from beginning to end because I really just like the concept. A future alien race war is happening. They come back to get people to help them fight this war and Chris Pratt comes and he's starting to figure stuff out and he meets certain people in the future that he might know in the past and it's a really cool dynamic and it's really cool action and what leads to our really cool alien designs. The alien designs are really cool. I really like them. I think they call them like the White Walkers? I'm not, they call them the White something and they were really cool. I'll say that. The sound design, their scream, their clicking noise, Really cool stuff, and it really helped this movie because it felt kind of fresh. It kind of felt new, even though it is your generic big summer alien evasion, go get them stuff. But it was really cool how they had the thing on their arm. They go in the future. People in the past are basically not soldiers. They're getting everyone from the past to come and help them. I like that stuff, and it was really cool to see. Now, with our cast, I would say everyone does a really good job for the most part. Chris Pratt, he's our main lead. He's a superstar. I love me some Chris Pratt. And for the most part, he's playing Chris Pratt, especially the first 20-ish minutes, doing jokes, being Chris Pratt, witty, stuff like that. Your personal love like, of Chris Pratt is your opinion, but me personally, I like Chris Pratt a lot. So seeing him as a lead of this movie, I was entertained. I enjoyed it. I like J.K. Simmons. I like the girl in this movie. I can't say her name. Yumthans Oskikic. I Fuck that up. But either way, she was really good in the future present scenes. But really, overall, like I said, the movie just has that fun ability of summer blockbuster. These aliens that are really cool looking. The action scenes, really exciting. Big budget CGI. And it looks really good. The sound design, the music, the score, and the CGI looked very good. I mean, it's a $200 million budget, so it should look very good. My biggest gripes has to be probably the pacing and the tonal shifts that we get throughout the entire movie. The movie's about 2 hours and 20 minutes long, and it could probably be like an hour and 15 minutes. There's a one point in this movie I'm like, alright, is this how we're gonna end? Uh, there's gotta be something else and there was something else and it was 20 more minutes of something else and a whole new action scene i was like i'm entertained but like this is a pretty lengthy movie it can remind me of independence day independence day is a long movie it's like two hours and 25 minutes this movie's two hours and 20 minutes again independence day feel aliens i don't know why it's in my head and also the tonal shift. Like I said, the first 30 minutes or so is really intriguing of the story and how they have to come back and get these people. A lot of comedy, a lot of Chris Pratt jokes, and then it goes into tonal shifts of like really intense horror vibe thriller with the aliens. And then you got your big budget CGI action scenes, which are very entertaining and very enjoyable to watch on the big screen. Well, the big screen being my, my TV. Like I said, this movie would be awesome in theaters. But besides that, I mean, I had fun with this movie. I would totally rewatch it again. I think this movie is going to suffer from being on Amazon original because no one's going to really watch it as much as I want them to. Because again, the movie's not like groundbreak or anything, but for an alien July 4th blockbuster movie that should be on the big screen, it's very entertaining. And I'm going to give The Tomorrow War a B plus. Now, I do admit, I really do want to see Chris Pratt do more than just the big center blockbusters. Like, Guardians is fine. I like him in Jurassic World. I like him in this. But I kind of want to see him do, you know, a movie that can really show his acting still. Because we know he's a superstar. But I really want him to do, like, a drama. Maybe do something that gets you nominated for an Oscar. I don't know, Chris Pratt. But you know what? I still love you, man. And you did a really good job in this movie. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoyed this movie review. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.